you're here again or you're here for the first time. Either way, thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate your company. There has been a mayhem of kilele outside my patio. Lots and lots of happenings with the gardener. If you think that there's something called a Spanish siesta, forget it. That isn't happening anymore. It was all ready to go and all ready to film and then suddenly, boom, it seems like three gardeners had to put on all their toys right at 2 p.m. So forget it, Spanish siesta, that's part of the history. What is not part of history is the future of my Catlia Bicolor, the one that I got from Afri Orchids. On the new imports update video, I showed root nubbins and lo and behold, a couple of days later, <clears throat> There's more coming. And I love them at this size because I won't be doing any damage. That's what I want to show you in my video today. We're going to clean her up. She's been soaking in CalMag and seaweed, but only because I wanted to also soften the sheaths. Everything that has been happening up until now with her care while she's in my collection acclimating has happened. This was just me for convenience sake. I want to soften the sheaths because we're going to clean her up properly. So all this is coming off as best as possible. And the reason I like my root tips to be just barely, barely like on this nubbin stage is because I tell myself I'm going to do less damage. And the plan is to show you in this video that I will do less damage and actually not break it off. And then by potting her up, I won't be also damaging any new roots as they go into the pot with Lekka around them because they haven't grown enough. And then I can tease her much better. Well, I can tease the roots much better into the pot because they will be going down into the pot seeking out the LECA for the humidity factor and the moisture. That is why I'm taking you along for the ride of this potting up of my Catlia Bicolor. And you know what? These Afri orchids are really, really faster in their acclimating to my environment than the Floralia ones that I got earlier this year, which as you saw, if you haven't, I will leave a link in the description about my imports and how they're doing that update video and they're still being babied so there's something to be said about these orchids from africa they're doing really well and adapting very very quickly now as the noise level increases on the other side of the hedge i'm going to hopefully find a nice piece of music while i clean out all the dead roots and then hopefully by the time I switch the audio back on, everybody will have just stopped whatever it is they have to be doing. Oh my goodness, here we go. So this root is the last one, but it's so kinked and it's all soft right at the kink there. So that's coming off and that will be it. Now you might say, well, there's not a lot left for anchoring and you're right. This time I didn't leave anything on for anchoring because I'm getting new roots and I would prefer them to take over the pot as opposed to having something decaying in the pot because of anchoring. We are going to do something else and I hope that if you have a similar situation that this is going to be of use to you as well in the future. This is a beautiful sight. The pot is ready, the support is ready, the loop is ready, one microfiber and small lecker because this is a seedling. So small lecker to allow for much much more water and humidity around the roots as they develop. 
stubborn support. And then we're just going to fill her up. And we're going to see whether this was even necessary because what I'm planning to do with this one is a little bit different than with the other repots. Still, there's no harm, no foul in case an eventuality occurs that there is a need to protect a root as you pour lecker into the pot. So there's not a problem in just being a little bit cautious. But the idea being the orchid is going to go in the pot. That is what we're here for. And then she is just going to sit on lecker and I'm not going to fill her up, but I'm going to tie her and secure her to the post so that all the roots that are growing now will go straight down into the pot. You see, the old roots as such are not used to lecker. So my thought being, I'm not going to freak them out and have them fail because until these new roots don't become active in their own right and support the orchid, in my very hot climate that is coming up now, well, we've had some temperatures that have been extremely excessively warm, for orchids, because I don't have any humidity to mess around with, I have to provide humidity for my orchids all by myself. And sometimes I get behind. And usually at this time of year, I'm not potting up orchids that could start to deteriorate because they don't have active roots to help them sustain and avoid dehydration because of the transpiration through the leaves. But I'm not going to wait another six weeks because then I have a problem. The roots are going to be far too long for what I'm trying to achieve. So we're going to monitor this orchid in such a way. She is now secured. It doesn't look very attractive, but I am not abrading any roots on any lecker at this point in time. Up until now, she's had dunk and dry treatment. And then with a little bit of humidity left in the pot that could evaporate throughout the night. So she is used to a very, very high humidity environment around her base, but not used to LECA. Being a bifoliate, I would say this is a diva. She may prove me wrong. Let's just say she's already proven me wrong on the fact that she is growing new roots on an older matured growth. That I didn't expect, but I'm very, very happy to accommodate. And this is how she's going to stay in the pot for the foreseeable future, because I do not have to worry about misting as much as I'm going to be doing, because she doesn't have any new growths coming. I can maintain the surface of the lecker nice and damp throughout whatever she is going to be doing next. And then as the roots start to grow longer and longer, and I'm talking about the new ones, I will start lifting her up before the roots touch the lecker, lift her up to the ideal height that I want her to be at. This way I've got a lot of humidity around the base. Even a hot wind won't affect and disturb this too much. I can be aggressive with my misting. And as the roots grow, she is going to come up and up and up bit by bit until I'm happy with the length of the roots and where she is at and then I'm filling around with Lekka. That is the plan for my Catlia brasilensis from all the way from Africa. Seeing as there are no roots in the pot, there is no need for anything to be in the reservoir either. So this is now just misting, misting, misting. I am not going to be using any more seaweed. I will be using the occasional calcium magnesium solution at around 60 parts per million, 6.3 pH. No more seaweed. We've done the job, we've got roots to grow, and now let them grow. If I apply too much seaweed, get the dosage wrong, I could risk stopping root production. She is ready to go, and this is going to be fun for me to observe and watch and keep you updated on. Because I've done this quite often with other orchids and it has worked, now I can film it. And I hope that one day maybe it, this is a useful little trick for you to do as well. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little touch of difference. I appreciate your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Stay safe and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, bye.